Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. It is time for Game Week 10 Preview. Now, as always, we're going to go back to the previous Game Week and see how well my team did for that week. And then we're going to go through Game Week 10. I'm going to go through each of my players, each of the teams. And I'm going to be talking about a few transfer options that I'm thinking to do in the next coming Game Weeks. So, as you can see for game week 9, I got a whopping 32 points, below the average of 37, and as you can see, my overall rank stands at 372,341. So, I lost around 100k um, rank in game week 9, and yeah, it has been a disappointing game week for a lot of managers out there. And as you can see, I played my wild card pretty much the wrong time to play it because normally when you do, you want a big score. But you know what? Every time that I look at my team, I'm just like, wow. Abamian, I got, I got Kevin De Bruyne, I got Mane, I got Trent. This team is the one. And once the game week finishes, it's just like, what just happened? So yeah, it has been a very difficult season for us to predict. So for that reason. I'm alright, I'm alright, I mean this team can still do really well for the next coming game week, so uh, there's high hopes. So I'm going to go through this quite quickly, um, because I already created a review videos for this. Uh, Ryan with 3, Pereira with 2, Rico, my hero, with 8, uh, Trent with 2, Mane with 2, Kevin Nubuena with 3, Madison with 2, Mount with 3, uh, Abraham with 4, Abamian with 2, and King with one as you can see the bench uh lundstrom and mcginn so our bench um uh, mcginn uh which was the right call at the end lundstrom was six which wasn't the right call but because i got a bamian i mean who are you gonna play um but yeah lundstrom was the right person to play but yeah bad week let's move on to game week 10. so as you can see this is my team set up for game week 10. as you can see i've got ryan in goal against everton Really good chance for Brighton to keep a clean sheet here. Everton away, they're not really performing away, so but they have changed a few things uh, with their team setup, so things may change for them, but we'll see. Pereira, uh, do not forget. Uh, I need to mention this. Do not forget the deadline is on Friday, Friday, guys, not Saturday, Friday. So do not forget. Um, if there is any kind of changes, what I'm gonna do is. Uh, post it on my Twitter account, okay? So Pereira against Southampton. Um, Southampton actually uh, does well at home, and I heard some kind of record that they always score. Um, so that's not good news. But I'm hoping this is a high-scoring game, then Pereira could get some kind of points. He's in, He's got good, like, going forward, So and he played really well last game. So I'm, I'm hoping the best for him. Now, Rico, I'm actually thinking to play him or Lundstrom. Um, I think if he continues to play, you know, him taking some of the set pieces might give him a higher chance to get some kind of returns, even though if he, uh, if Bournemouth concedes against uh, Watford. Now, Trent, obviously I need to watch out for his illness. I think, you know, it's one of those ones where, you know, you don't want to travel. I don't know. Could be one of those. But if he has got a, a proper illness there, then we have to um, see what's happening with him. Um, but against Tottenham, that's a, a very difficult um, fixture. Even though Tottenham's having a, like a, a bad run, um, I'm gonna let you know if he. I'm gonna leave him there. Uh, if he doesn't play, then I do have Lundstrom off the bench. So that's good. That, that, that's good as well. I got Mane uh, against Tottenham, and next up, as you can see, Kevin De Bruyne as my captain. I do have Abamian as my vice. And to be honest with you, I actually want to captain Abamian. I bought him in because Abamian's got really good fixtures. I know some people out there are looking at those fixtures and being like, whoa, Shefford United, Crystal Palace, um, Wolves. You know, these are difficult teams to beat. But at home, they should be... I just feel like at home fixtures, they can score a lot of goals. Even though if it's a draw, even if they lose... I can see them scoring a lot of goals at home. I'm hoping this is the case and he goes and scores a lot of goals. Kevin De Bruyne is just it's just another level of a player. Like he is just incredible and plus the Manchester City team, yes, the defense is a bit weak, 
but the attacking front is just fantastic. And I can see them scoring a lot of goals. But Aston Villa is actually playing decently as well. Um, so yeah, my two options for me is Abamian or Kevin De Bruyne. I will let you guys know um, on my Twitter account what I'm going to be doing. Madison, now I've got Pereira and Madison playing on a Friday. I'm hoping that I can get some kind of returns. Then it can make me feel good going into the weekend. Um, so hopefully there's some kind of returns there. I, I, I hope this happens. Mount against Tammy Abraham. Now, uh, Mount played 90 minutes in the Champions League. Abraham's probably around 70 minutes. So maybe there might be some rotation there. We'll see. If that's the case, I do have John Miggin off the bench. Uh, Tammy Abraham against Burnley. Now, Burnley's really, you know, they're a good team, but Chelsea is getting better and better. And yeah, like I said, Aubameyang against Crystal Palace, high chance for him to score a goal. And uh, Joshua King there against Watford. Now, we don't know what... I mean, wait, let's start again. I, I don't know how I feel about this fixture. Anything can happen. And yeah, and my bench, as you can see, I've got John McGinn uh, against Manchester City. I've got Lundstrom. Um, this guy right now is 5.9. I know Glilish, um is pretty much the same kind of price tag so a lot of people will go for him instead of John McGinn but if McGinn gets some kind of assist in the next two three games then his price should go up again so I'm hoping that that's the case even though he is on my bench it is fine I think I got decent um kind of starting in 11 anyway that's what I did I, I want a strong kind of defense hopefully Kelly's back and that will give me good options going forward and yeah so my plan is is to hold my transfer i'm gonna bank that transfer and i'm gonna look at um game week uh, 11 i'm gonna see my options there now let's have a look um i mean maybe try and get another manchester city player if abamian does not perform i could get rid of him and go and get sterling back into my team um i could do that I'm going to have a look at the transfers in a second anyway. I haven't really looked into the future transfers right now. All I want to do is react to situations. So I want to bank the transfer. And if there's any problems in this uh, game week, uh, like in game week 11, then I will make that adjustments and keep banking that transfers and get two free transfers every week so I can kind of just adjust to any kind of situation. As for the transfers, well, because I'm going to be banking my transfer in game week 10, I'm not really thinking about it too much. But... For game week 11, let's just say that I need another Manchester City cover. Well, I can go and get um, Sergio Aguero by removing Nabamian. And I can bring Aguero like this. And then I'll need 1.1. Then I can remove Pereira here. And I can go and get a defender that is 5 million and below. And there is a lot of options out there, guys. And... That means in game week 11, you know, I'll have two free transfers. And let's just, I don't know. Where's uh, where's the other Leicester player? Maybe I could go tomorrow here. There we go. And yeah, so that makes up the money there. I can do this. I can get Aguero. I still have McGinn there. Or maybe I can remove McGinn and get a, a midfielder that is 4.6. But well, let's just say that I want to get maybe Sterling. Then if that's the case, then I need to remove maybe Mount. This is just an example, guys. This is just like thoughts uh, that might give you some kind of idea. Let's just say I need Sterling and I got um, 5.7 remaining. Now, I don't really want to go for a striker that is 5.7. The striker that I, I would want is maybe Raul Jimenez. And that means I need uh, 4.1. Then, yeah, I can remove Pereira here. Then go and get someone for 4.7 and below. Um, defender. I think I can do this with McGinn as well. I think there might be a midfielder. Let's just have a quick look. Okay, there is. But I don't really want a player that doesn't play. So these are some of, of the possibilities that I'm looking at. But... The transfer that I am thinking to do that could upgrade my team is removing King here um, to Raul Jimenez. Um, he is just on form right now. And I can see him doing well 
in the next couple of game weeks at least or even more to be honest with you Newcastle away is going to be difficult but if I bring him in game week 11 against Arsenal I think that's still a good good fixture Aston Villa at home Bournemouth away uh, Sheffield United at home West Ham at home these are decent fixtures and yeah I, I like that move but then as you can see I've got a 0 0.7 and that is so easy to do by downgrading Trent and get myself maybe Van Dyke, and that will still get me a Liverpool cover. Maybe I can remove Pereira here and go and get myself a, a four, um, sorry, five point four defender in below. And there is tons of um, defenders out there that is cheaper, so I can go back and get another Leicester player. So yeah, there is so many options, and if I do this in game week eleven, I think that's a fantastic move. Maybe I could remove him again. I don't need him no more and as you can see 5 million I mean there's a couple of uh, players uh, like Cantwell as well but to be honest with you I think like moving forward because I will need McGinn soon because there's going to be a lot of rotation downgrading one of these defenders is not actually a bad bad thing to do and to get in Jimenez I think that is a fantastic move and that front line is just it's just good. If they just perform, then I can do well. Anyways, guys, those are some of my transfer thoughts. Um, I thought I'll just, you know, uh, talk about it. Um, let you guys know what I'm thinking about. Um, so it might give you some kind of idea. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Um, hopefully that you guys will get a fantastic score. Hopefully I will get a fantastic score. Uh, but yeah, it has been a difficult season to predict, so don't be too down. Things happen. Um, we're just gonna move on. Hope you know there's a lot of luck in this game, right? We need we need that we need that luck, and hopefully I'll get that luck. Um, but yeah, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and always always drop a like. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.